ップにチェホー元気さんそして谷川貞治さんでお送りしてまいりますスペシャルリポーターを務めた吉田トレーニングで受けてみたんですねそうですね4発ですけど、えー、だんだん立てなくなってくるので、えー、大きさか蹴りまずはローキックミルコが打ちましたこの角度果たして届くのかそのまずはローキックですまずはミルコが左のローキックを参加定石通り下から攻めているって感じですよねミルコ選手左ファーしていきました届いてますねミルコのローキックだ入ってますね、はい、届くんですねそうですね信じられないですよね、えー、途中ノーコンテストになってしまいましたさあ前出てきました止めると怖いですね左ミドルキックですでも普通ならあれハイキックですまだ左それを捕まえようというチョンマンださあチョンマンの前に出たなかなか顔面取られるのが難しいんじゃないのかなと思いますね、はい、なるほど、はい、まあ下からね2階にこう打ち上げるような形になりますもんねような光景というのは今まであまりありませんさあ出てきた松田さん、はい、赤ミルコサイドですけど、ねえー、絶対にグラウンドには行くなとなで相手ビビっているからパンチをもっと繰り出していけ、えー、でレバー肝臓を狙っていけという姿勢が出てます、はい、れてますねンン一発一発前出てきましたさあ捕まえるか本間選手はね、まあ、そのグローブの差し替え,差し替えました、うん、ここはうまくミルコが許しませんでした左を差しましたチェオンマンですどのような形で主導権をどちらが握っていくのか。本当にあの飛び込めないでしょうね。本間選手は仕掛けたいですね。仕掛けたいですね。はい、でも捕まらないですよね。はい、左足前に出ていくチョンマン。この均衡がどのような形で破られていくか。さあニュートラルコーナー。まだチョンマン今組み合ったところが一つのポイントになるでしょうね。えー、ミルコのローブロー。おっと左。インロー。序盤に見せた避けたところそして最後ですまあ再三にわたってこの左の内を攻めてきたわけですけれどもそ,、ね、それが結果的に KO につながっちゃいましたね、えー、ゲームを見てみましょうゲームを見てみましょう Every one of these fights going forward could be his last fight.、Correct. This could be it, the next one could be it, we don't know. So, this is something special watching a legend like Mirko Krokop get ready to retire from the sport. He said it's his 56th time coming to Japan. He says he's heard all the talk that MMA has evolved. He says, but you know what? You still punch with two hands and you kick with two feet. The basics haven't changed. Took some time off because of his left knee surgery, was done. People ask, why do you still fight? He's like, it's my job. It's my passion. I talked to him a little bit before uh, uh, the weigh ins, and he was like, you know, I'm getting pressure from my family, my wife, my mom to stop fighting. He goes, I don't know what else to do. Like, I love this. He has other things he can do to make money, but he's like, they don't interest him as much as fighting guys. He's got his investments,、guys. he's got real estate. He's got a ton of stuff going on. His manager, Ken a m a i set him up, taught him how to get, deal with real estate, taught him how to keep. You know, invest in his future. He's he's makes more money off his other stuff than he does fighting now. But he's like, I just can't stop. I, I, I don't know what else to do. Like, this is the thing that he wakes up trying to do every single day. He's loading up. He's loading up. From our vantage point here, there was that left there. For Rookie Martinez, he's more than glad to stand and bang with Mirko k r o k o p Check. His left kick is checked there by Mirko. Rookie now trying to go for the body. You see him picking up the pace here. He's got to watch his distance though. Stand there waiting. You got to keep something in Mirko's face. If you, pull, if you don't keep a jab in Krokop's face, he's going to catch that left hand at some point. Yeah, that the, the, the one thing about Mirko Krokop is you've got to keep. There's the kick there. You got to keep him going. Oh, that's got to be. That's just that left to the body. It's only because Mirko's got redness on his left side. r o o k i e with the body shots and the left. Good. Oh, he's waiting、Sweet. for the kick. He caught it. Oh, looking for the takedown. Good job by Mirko keeping his balance. Good job by the officials inside and outside to keep the ropes together. I thought they were going through the ropes on that one. They charged it so tough and so high. Rookie doing a good job keeping the pace, keeping the pressure. Using his right knee to punish the left leg, the surgically repaired left leg of Mirko Krokop. 
Good head pressure. Good head pressure, good positioning by Krokop to keep the pressure off. So we're scheduled for two rounds. Opening round is 10 minutes, second round is five minutes. Elbows are allowed. Oh, body shot. Thunderous body shot by Roki Martinez. He's got Merkel with that a couple times now. Miracle right down the center with that left. Oh, beautiful through. left there. It's, it is getting through, Frank. You're right. You can hear Kenamai's daughter and his uh, Merkel's manager yelling for Merkel. <laughs> Oh, he's attacking now. He's picking up the pace. If you, if you remember Rookie's last fight, it looked like he was always hurt, but he just kept going and going and going. He just wouldn't go he's, away. He's oh, there's very, the high kick. Wow. He's very durable. Oh, it's, it's very durable. It takes a lot of, it looks like it takes a lot of damage, but they're all glancing blows. He has a really good thing with his defense. It's a little late at times. But he does get part of the punch taken off and, and uh, makes it miss slightly, which allows him to fight later. In, in the round in last fight I thought he was done for sure and he still came back yeah and, you know he did a great job Eric was just timing that left there oh a nice left elbow there by Mirko over Rookie he's like nah he just basically he whispered come on Guys are exchanging shin kicks. Rokis did a good job of keeping the pressure on, staying in his face, not giving Merkel any time to breathe. Causing stress, always keep him under under duration. It's punishing that left leg. Side punches don't seem to do much. Like you just end up punching on the guy's side. It doesn't seem like it's doing much, but it all adds up come later, yes. especially when that's the lead leg. He's working every angle. Every angle of that leg. I feel like when junior high school, we're passing notes. Who's there? Oh. <laughs> oh, an uppercut landed by Roki. Miracle now engaging the clinch here. Left under hook. Roki making him carry his weight. Putting all his weight on him. Tiring. Roki Martinez now trying to throw the knees. Uppercut. Body oh. shots. Miracle with the left uppercut. That that uppercut fighting in a forever booth. Another uppercut by Miracle Krokop. A left. Time's up. He's cut. Oh, one. Look at that. Wow. Roki Martinez bloodied up by Miracle Krokop. One of those rubber cuts snuck through. Oh, so there's an elbow. And the elbow's what caught him. Oh, it's in the forehead, okay. I thought it was coming from his nose. It looks like we're into his eye. Look at that. Perfect <laughs> technique. Perfect technique by Miracle Kokop. I wonder if he learned that last night. Just turning the elbow over. Is that something new he just added, or has he done that before the time? Look at that. Wow. Oh. It's instantaneous. The referee saw it right away. They called, they called it. the fight. They called the fight. The cut is too deep. Mirko Krokop. Four minutes, I think 58 seconds with a left elbow. Ends. Roki Martinez is night. Roki is not happy right now at all. Well, not of course happy not. He, at he wants all. to continue to fight. He wants to keep going, but there's the cut, and I'm sure they could have got the bleeding stopped, but it was probably too deep. And then there's, it's fighter's tape. There's no more reason to go in and get you know get your head cut more open. In 48 hours, two five-minute rounds. If we need a third, it'll be an extra five-minute round. Kicks and knees to the head of a down opponent are illegal. What are illegal are elbow. Once again, <laughs> my name is Joe Farrell, joined alongside the baddest Jets. man on the planet, Jets. Joe Warren, Jets. about to see his boy, King Mo, take on the legend, Mirko Krokop. He's got his wrestling shoes on for grip. He's moving better. I'm excited to watch this fight. I was always, I was just asking you about reach advantage. One was wondering if Mo has a longer reach advantage than Krokop. Yeah, good job. King Mo wasting no time trying to close the distance using his strikes. 
Prokop, obviously, that stance getting lower. You see that kick coming. And that's exactly what King Mo wanted. He wanted something low, and he's able to get that takedown down to the ground. Less, just over 30 seconds for him to score that takedown. It's exactly what Mo wanted. He wanted him to throw that low leg kick so he could have caught it into that single switch to a double. That's where we're at. Head position perfect right under the chin. He's in the center, his, his head's not getting pushed to one side for a submission. He has to get his hands off the mat and worry about, well, there's no elbows this round. And just look at the size difference, Joe. Mo is uh, definitely smaller. Mo is now stretching him out, putting his forearm on the neck or on the chin, lifting up and cocking his right hand back so he can land some bombs. Love to see. Nice. Nice round and pound. Good position. Needs to make sure that he's posturing well. Sock Tok up there trying to sneak his left leg through. Looking for a triangle choke here, but a great job so far by King Mo. Getting the takedown, working his ground and pound. But Mirko Krokop now is trying to trap that right arm of King Mo. And I'll tell you right now, this is exactly where King Mo wants to be. He wants to stay right here for the first round, uh, first five minutes, do the same thing second round, take no damage, move to the next round and defend his belt. Good. Referee imploring King Mo a bit more action, although I do believe he is working. But the referee here wants to see a bit more. When they say action, they also want to see damage. If they're in rise, then they would like to see damage. And I like to correct myself, he's not defending that belt. Tournaments are separate, it's a separate belt for each tournament. Here we have here King Mo. Like Joe Warren said, keeping his head in the center position, not making his head wander to the wrong side. And of course the referee says, nope, not causing enough damage, we're gonna stand up here. We got two minutes and 15 seconds in this first round. Mo's moving forward, bringing him in that corner. Prokop looking to land that left there. Got to defend the takedown first. Look for knees and uppercuts to be coming here. And Mo needs to circle him back, push him against that, push him against the corner again so that he then cannot use those nasty leg kicks. Good. Oh, a trip attempt there by Krokop. Look at he's shaking that hand. There's a left to the body there. Your boy King Mo better protect every part of the left side of his body, or the right side of his body. Oh, there's <laughs> and we talked. We talked about Mo keeping his hands low. They're higher than they normally are right now. I don't think those shoes are helping him much. He seems to be sliding more. This is, what we, this is what we, I just talked about the first round. He's waiting for that low leg kick, switch from a single to a double leg, bring him back to the ground, and win, win with position. Yeah, it seems to be a little slippery, like you said, Joe. This is not where you want to be. You want to get a little more distance. I was just going to say the same thing. If you stand too close to Krokop, that's what he's looking for. And he wants to make sure that he's outside that front leg, that he's moving left. Less than one minute to go, and there we have here Kimo looking for the double. Now he's clinched up here. Continuing to pummel, continuing to work for that takedown. Knees landed by Krokop. There are 35 seconds left in this round. Mo has controlled the whole round. He's won this round, I think. 30 seconds to go. Look, there you see Mirko Krokop loading up there. He was looking to throw. There it is. That is a thunderous shot to the body. Oh, and it's King Mo with the comeback. But Kokov's mouth is open, means, meaning he's tired. You don't fight with your mouth open. These two guys are not messing around here. Kokov again throwing those shins. Reckless abandonment, and, and there That's you have it. King Mo wanting to get that fight down to the ground. Do you think Mirko Kokov did enough? 
to sway the judges in that round there? No, I don't think so. We talked about this with the wrestlers earlier tonight. They get focused on finishing that takedown, and they're focused on one thing. They're going to keep running. They need to stop that. They need to understand if the takedown's not working, you need to switch it up. That's the takedown I was talking about. A low kick. He caught the single leg switch to a double and won here. Now he's on his feet. Another hard head kick, at least his hands were up. Mo's not usually a guy that keeps his hands up. Nine out of ten times, that could have been, that could have been really bad for Mo. <laughs> well, you can see when Krokop bites down on that mouthpiece, and he stops for that one moment, he loads up, and he launches an absolute baseball bat. Your way, you need to be making sure you're blocking that thing or getting out of dodge. That one there, he did rock King Mo, but King Mo said, you know what? I don't care. We're here to fight. And we're going to fight. We are now going, heading into the second round. And Mirko, he is a tired man right now. Uh, the reason I said that is that when you're opening your mouth to throw punches and not, and not biting down, it's because you're trying to breathe. And that's because your conditioning's not there. Mo Round needs two. to be smart. He needs to be smart. He needs to he, control distance or push him against this ring and make this fight against the ring so he can't get kicked. Good job. See, he's moving left now. He's moving outside that front leg so he can't get kicked. He's got to kick across his body to get to him. Goes up, in my opinion, was smart. He just showed, hey, here's the left hand. He faked it, and we saw what happened with King Mo. King Mo immediately got out of dodge. Yep. But he needs to continue to move left and stay outside of that front leg. That's exactly what he's doing. He's basically taking your advice. Do not, under any circumstances, have your left leg on the inside of Mirko yeah. Krokop's right leg because that is what Krokop is waiting for. That's what a baseball bat will be coming your way. Yeah, that's, you know, the bottom line is you don't move into a man's power, especially a veteran like this. Yeah. See, you hear his corner, Mo. One good takedown, and this fight is over, folks. Without this one takedown, and they stand up here this whole time, there might be a third round. King Mo competing with his mouth open here. Yep. Oh, and a nice, nice right hand landed there by King Mo. Backing Krokop up. Oh. Krokop with the left cross, throwing out the jab right now. A little bit more aggressive in this round here. Let's go, right here, set it up. Set it up. Finish. Oh, and now it's Krokop as King Mo in the corner, throwing those combinations, throwing those punches. Takes out King Mo. This fight is over. Just like that. Just like that. You know, you, you get a big, powerful man. He puts so much force behind his punches. One punch can change a fight. We talked about this before with these super heavyweights. That's what we just watched. He was losing that whole fight. Lands one hard shot, he hits his face. Miracle Krokop advances. We'll be competing in 48 hours. We'll be taking on Baruto, a guy that he called out at the post-fight press conference in September, when Baruto did not show up to the post-fight press conference, Krokop got on the microphone and said, Hey, with all due respect, Mr. Saki Kubara, where is this guy? All of us are here. Where is he? For those that don't know, Baruto was injured. Baruto did not take too kindly to those statements. And we all saw what happened afterwards. And now these two will settle their score in the next round taking place New Year's Eve here in Saitama, Japan, in this very arena, in this ring, this at Saitama Sai Games Super. presents Rising Fighting World Grand Prix 2016. This Saitama Super Arena is going crazy. They love oh. Mirko Kokov. Thank you for this great support. For my next fight against Baruto. Thank you. Well, clearly, ladies and gentlemen, you know who the fans want to fight Baruto. They want Krokop to put a hurting on this guy. Yeah, they do. I'm not sure how that works, though. You know, Here's, let's take a look here at the finish. You saw King Mo going in for that takedown, and then as soon as Krokop was able to land those, those combinations, it was nights, lights out, night over.
fans are absolutely cheering. And we're about to see all of the tournament competitors remaining. And the Psy Games presents Rise in Fighting World Grand Prix 2016 enter the ring. There is going to be some tension here, believe you me. Right now, King Mo is actually congratulating Mirko Krokop as we see Krokop's corner.